Good morning, good morning, good morning. The real E motherfucking Thweezy. What's good? I hope everyone has a blessed day. Productive day. You know what I'm saying? Period point blank. Um Let's get into this Robert Sarver shit, man. You know what I'm saying? This Donald Sterling shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And all the rest of these racist ass motherfucking plantation ass owners that we have across the borders. You feel what I'm saying? Because that's exactly what it is. Let's just call a spade a spade. Motherfuckers are scared to call a spade a spade because, oh, it's going to hurt their paycheck. Oh, it's going to do this. It's going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Man, like I always said. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything, man. Straight up. And <clears throat> with the Robert Sarver situation, it's, I mean, we've, I've, you know, became accustomed to all of the shit all of the time. You know what I'm saying? This stuff, you think that this stuff is just now happening this stuff been happening it's just just now coming to light because you know what happened people are bold enough to come out there are a lot of whistleblowers that's out here like you know what i'm saying they're not scared of the consequences and repercussion of people who are powerful and have money period this type of shit goes on in the average workplace you get what I'm saying? With the average employee and, and shit like that. Just not on a professional um, a, a professional level in a sense of just athletics. You know what I'm saying? This shit goes on in colleges. This shit goes on, you know what I'm saying? All over the place. In the corporate world. Like, you know what I'm saying? This shit goes on in our government. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. In the music industry everywhere hollywood like come on man <clears throat> these motherfuckers who run this shit have the power to do to say what they want and nothing will happen unless unless shit is compromised unless they unless a motherfucker be like well shit well we have to, well we kind of have to but this whole Black Lives Matter and all that shit that came out, you know what I'm saying? Calling a motherfucker an N-word, they don't get, what? All right, they don't give a fuck about, you feel me? They been calling us the N-words. We, motherfucker, we been getting lynched, gunned down. You know what I'm saying? For no other reason outside of just being black, period. You know what I'm saying? And these motherfuckers in the league are scared to stand up and stand on their shit and take up for their people. Everything that we've endured, bro, everything that we had to go through, come on. Really? Think about that. Think about that. All the things that we've gone through, man. Our ancestors going through, our mom, our pops, our grandparents, our aunties, our uncles, our cousins, our distant relatives, you know what I'm saying, our peers. This is just the tipping of the iceberg, if you ask me. These players sell out for the bag, period. They sell out for the bag. And that's very disheartening, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? These players have a lot of power. They have a lot of influence. You know what I'm saying? Over the average motherfucking citizen, over the average person, over the average fan, et cetera, et cetera. Some of these motherfuckers will actually go out and do some stupid shit crazy ass shit because they worship the ground that some of these athletes walk on because they're so in like, you know what I'm saying, with their ability to provide entertainment at the highest level. You know what I'm saying? And then these players, a lot of these players have publicists, bro. 
So when they come on TV and they talk about shit or they go to an, an interview in the media, you know what I'm saying? No matter the platform it is, and they talk about certain shit, it's certain shit that they're trained to say. And then there's certain questions that their representatives behind the scenes tell them that they cannot talk about. Or it's going to hurt their brand. It's going to hurt their image. And guess what? Whose brand and whose image is really hurting? It's hurting the motherfucker who employed that individual. You know what I'm saying? It's not really the individual. They're just going to get the backlash of it. But behind the scenes, the people that really be like, man, no, nah, you can't say that shit, man. Because now it's, I'm going to look like I stand for that shit when I really don't. Like, you know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers, Steph Curry is my guy. Yes, that's my guy, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, nigga, I'm going to always keep it 100, bro. I'm a real individual in living in a reality. You know what I'm saying? that looks way different than, you know what I'm saying, playing basketball and getting paid trillions of dollars to do something that they love. You feel what I'm saying? So I can speak on shit. Now, mind you, this shit comes out by Robert Sarver. We ain't heard Steph Curry come out and say nothing. You know why? Because behind the scenes, he about to sign a billion dollar deal. You know what I'm saying? He ain't finna come out and say nothing. Meanwhile, players like motherfucking Jonathan Isaac, you know what I'm saying? We don't even know when he's gonna play basketball again based off of his whole stance during the pandemic about, you know what I'm saying, the shots, the vaccine, you know what I'm saying? And he's not as big as Kyrie Irving. He doesn't do as much for the sport. He doesn't really move the needle. You know what I'm saying? He's not one of those premier players and athletes to where they're going to be like, okay, we got to stand behind him. No, he just another motherfucking nigga. You know what I'm saying? Who's going against the grain and going against the system. But guess what they going to do? Uh, we're going to figure out a way to not sign him. We're going to figure out a way to not play him. You know what I'm saying? Or behind the scenes, we're going to train this motherfucker on how to get his shit together and speak. You know what I'm saying? And talk that talk that what we want him to represent. You know what I'm saying? How we want him to think. Shut up and dribble. It's not your position, nigga, to talk about these worldwide issues. And the players that do come out and talk about worldwide issues, like I say, they're trained to say certain shit. You know what I'm saying? And then other times they get backlash for saying some shit that they really feel and really stand on that they really didn't mean to say. But then it's already out there in the universe. You already didn't put it out there. You know what I'm saying? So now you got to do other shit. You know what I'm saying? To kind of like erase that. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying? Or cancel that out. You feel me? Steph Curry not finna fuck his bag up by coming out talking about racism. And if he does, he's gonna do it in a way to where, you know what I'm saying? It's looked at as far as like I'm promoting, I'm promoting a certain thing. Like a Black Lives Matter and all that shit. We don't need a motherfucker to start a Black Lives Matter campaign. You know what I'm saying? Black lives always matter. Shit, every life always matter. But especially black lives, bro. You know what I'm saying? When motherfuckers are mistreated, you feel me? Motherfuckers think that these pl motherfuckers think that they really give a fuck about them. Motherfuckers think that the league and all these motherfuckers really think really give a fuck about them. If it wasn't no Michael Jordan's, Dr. J's, Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul Jabbar's, Bill Russell's, Wilt Chamberlain's, so on and so forth, the NBA would be no MB motherfucking A. Let's just keep that a book. We wouldn't have a league if it wasn't the LeBron and Kobe, rest in peace. The Shats, the Akeem Elijahwans, the George Gervins. You know what I'm saying? The Sydney Mind Creeps. Elvin Mo Elgin Baylor, the Elvin Hayes, motherfucking Bob McAdoo's. 
what I'm saying? James Worthy, so on and so forth. I can keep going on and on. You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't none of them, guess what? You wouldn't have no lead. It wouldn't be able to glow. It wouldn't be able to grow globally, internationally. You know what I'm saying? Because all them motherfuckers do is watch what we do, and then they're culture vultures. They come over here and try to talk like us, try to walk like us, try to have swag. You know what I'm saying? Try to emulate whatever we do. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. And then call themselves the next great one. It's like, nigga, you're not really all that great, bro. You're trying to be like something that you've seen over here. Like, you feel what I'm saying? That's just what it is. At the end of the day, you think these motherfuckers up over here give a fuck about anybody over there? How can them, how can these motherfuckers over here in the States give a fuck about anybody outside of this state if they don't even care about them themselves and they own motherfucking people? Think about that. This shit is all about the money, and it's always been about money, power, control, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's why they sell your ass a false motherfucking reality. Vote. I want you to vote for a false reality, period. And pay attention, because all of this shit is intertwined, bro. You know what I'm saying? With the culture, with sports, with our society, period. This shit has all been diagrammed and designed from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Is this shit going to get out to the masses? Is this shit going to get out? No, probably not. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't want the real messages and the real information and the real... Um, they don't want the real motherfucking information to be spread so it can alter the minds of what people already are locked into and already feel and think. See, these motherfuckers pay you not to think. You're paid not to think. You're just paid to be in a bubble, to do one thing. You know what I'm saying? Why the fuck you think they called it a bubble? Why the fuck you think that as soon as somebody went outside to the strip club or to a restaurant to get something to eat, nigga, they gave you a strike for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Lou Williams' career, ever since that bubble, nigga, was on the tail end, and Lou Williams can still go out there and get you 20. Fuck what you're talking about. But ever since he motherfucking was defiant and rebellious against the rules that was set in place, they called it a bubble. That's what a motherfucking been living in this whole motherfucking time. They just give you certain shit, you know what I'm saying, to operate within the bubble. We are living in one big ass bubble. Soon as you burst that motherfucking bubble, guess what? You're an outcast now. You feel me? That's what this shit is. That's exactly what this shit is, bro. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna allow you to live outside a bubble unless they got a fucking string a leash, a monitor, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> or some sort of device to track your every move and what you do, when you do, and how you do. Period. Motherfuckers ain't gonna talk about that, though. You know what I'm saying? It's the reason why they came out and said, shut the fuck up and dribble. You know what I'm saying? It's the reason why they said, shut up and dribble. Because, nigga, you're not paid to think. And shout out to Kwame Brown. Go. This is the go along, get along game, bro. This is the go along, get along game. Period. From Steph Curry to LeBron to all these athletes to Chris Paul, James Harden. You know what I'm saying? Our major athletes. Why the fuck you think Steph Curry came out and said, oh, we support Katie. He's misunderstood. You think that he would come out and say, no, nah, we don't need KD. We run without him. Whoa, 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 whoa. You think he gonna come out and shit on KD when he went through the trenches with KD? You know what I'm saying? When they share intimate and personal conversations and shit outside of basketball, bro. You know what I'm saying? When they had to build a certain type of chemistry, cohesion, camaraderie. You know what I'm saying? Within those players. And sometimes players don't get disagree. It's like a family. You don't always agree with your family members. Shit, them are some of the ones that do you the worst. So, yeah, it's going to get ugly, especially in the heat of the moment in competition. You know what I'm saying? 
So with that, you think that Steph Curry gonna come out and say anything bad against KD? You think the organization and his advisors advise him to say anything bad, which would hurt their brand, their image, the culture that they're built, that they have built over there? Even though they might feel feel a whole different type of way behind the scenes or personally. Come on, man. Think about that shit. He was supposed to come out and say that shit, man, and show support. You know what I'm saying? That's what these players do sometimes. Sometimes it's real, and then sometimes that shit is just going along to get along. Because I don't want no problems. Just like a motherfucking marriage. Just like a relationship. You'll go along and get along because you're like, man, I'd rather do this and have my peace of mind than motherfucking argue over this shit and over that shit to try to get you to change or get you to see my perspective. You know what I'm saying? Because the difference of opinions means fuck you. I'm right, you're wrong. That's what a difference of opinion means. That's the way most people take that. Having a difference of opinion. It means that you're not acknowledging their opinion or their perspective and that maybe that you would the way you see it is wrong and the way that I'm looking at this shit is right. There isn't no motherfucking wrong or right. It's a perspective. It's an opinion. That's just what it is. Now, maybe it can align with some shit that might be factual, actual, actual, factual. But outside of that, it's just what it is. And to me, it is so ironic that Chris Paul is on the team that has a racist motherfucking manager on it. It just, that's wild to me. Because guess what? He was on another team that had a racist motherfucking owner manager back in 2014. Donald Sterling, when he told his mistress, get this, not his wife, but his mistress. So that's already a no no. You know what I'm saying? He told his motherfucking mistress all of this shit. Talking about one of the greats that ever do it. Come on, man. How is Chris Paul linked to that squad and linked to this squad? That's crazy. Didn't they just cash on Chris Paul? Didn't they just give his old ass like 200 and some max team out? You know what I'm saying? To do nothing but lose when you're supposed to win? Exactly. Exactly. Shut up and trip. You think these niggas gonna come out and, and do they whole little Trayvon Martin rest in peace to that king, man? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and shout out to his family members. You remember when they took that stance and everybody wearing hoods and they on the SBs and shit and, 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 and uh, solidarity and shit and they all, you know what I'm saying, got their hoods on and they standing for something? That would be agenda shit, bro. You think these motherfuckers really care? That's why they don't like Kyrie Irving. That's why they don't want to give Kyrie Irving money. Because he doesn't shut up and dribble. He actually cares. He's Like he said, he's actually human. And it's tough to do and be Kyrie Irving and the Kobe Bryants. When you speak out against certain entities, bro. You see what happens. But their talent is so great. And they bring so much attention and revenue, you know what I'm saying, to the sport and a fan base, to the sport, that it's like, goodness gracious, it's, man, we're stuck between a rock and a hard place right here. You know what I'm saying? What do we do? What do we do? Because I don't think this dude is ever going to get it. We want him to get it. We want him to fit inside that bubble. But he's just too fucking, oh, man, he's crazy. And that's what they do. They give you that. They label you crazy when you think for yourself. Now you become an outcast, like I mentioned earlier. You got certain players wearing purses and shit in fashion. Come on, bro. That's not what motherfuckers did back. You think motherfucking Dr. J, Kareem Abdul, and all these different players, Muhammad Ali and shit, walking around with tote bags and motherfucking purses? Nah, nigga, they walking around with that thing on. You know what I'm saying? With that chopper, the Malcolm X's and shit. You seen him? He ready for the smoke. You know what I'm saying? 
they didn't have tattoos and shit back in the days. And that's not no disrespect to people with that tattoos, but it's just the image. You know what I'm saying? What are you selling? What are you standing on? You feel me? Because everybody want to be gangster until it's time to be gangster, bro. Period. And when I say gangster, that don't mean going out there robbing your own people. Shoot motherfuckers over a motherfucking fried chicken or a motherfucking chain that they got on or something in a restaurant. Shout out to PNB Brock and his family. You feel me? Some stupid ass shit. You know what I'm saying? That's not gangster, bro. What's gang? What is gangster about that? I just don't understand. What's gangster is going to Capitol Hill. That's gangster. Then was the real gangsters who went to Capitol Hill, nigga. Yeah, over they motherfucking God. They went to Capitol Hill over there, the God that they worship. You know what I'm saying? We seen what's gangster and what ain't gangster. We seen the real gangsters. But we scared to challenge the system. You know what I'm saying? What a real motherfucker is that, bro? Who's who gonna challenge the system? You know what I'm saying? So everybody can eat. You know what I'm saying? So they family don't have to live in poverty. So they mom and they grandma don't have to work a hundred jobs trying to support motherfucking ten children. You know what I'm saying? So the daddy can be in a house or can see his children without having to pay and see his children and pay on the back end. So I gotta pay on the front end. You know what I'm saying? And I gotta pay on the back end. So I gotta pay to see my motherfucking children. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. One big money grab. That's all it is. That's all it is. One motherfucker's gonna start standing on shit. And that goes shot. That goes to all of our athletes out there, nigga. Give a fuck who you is, bruh. I don't give a fuck what you done for the game. Why you think Michael Jordan ain't never came out and said shit on shit? You know what I'm saying? Why you think so? Why do you think he they gave him ownership? Think about it. Why the fuck you think he don't speak out against all the injustices, but behind the scenes they say, oh, he donated to this cause. He donated to that cause. Nigga, you just giving the money right back to the motherfucking same organizations, nigga, that helped create this motherfucking problem. That's all it is. You think that shit really helping motherfuckers in the inner cities? Go look around the inner cities. You might have one motherfucking recreational center, one library here or there. You know what I'm saying? One little facility here or there. The rest of the motherfucking uh, inner cities... You see nothing but motherfucking homelessness. You know what I'm saying? Boarded up ass homes that went into foreclosure because a motherfucker couldn't afford to pay their motherfucking high ass motherfucking rent and property taxes. And then what else? You see motherfuckers standing on the street. You know what I'm saying? On that corner. You know what I'm saying? Trying to hustle up a dollar. You know what I'm saying? So they can buy some new joints or so they can get a motherfucking ounce, a, a motherfucking ounce of weed. You know what I'm saying? Or a pound of weed. Just so they can break that shit down and redistribute it, that shit. So they can make a little bit more money to maybe support their family or support their living habits, whatever those might be. Come on, man. Come on, man. What we what? What are we talking about? Is we gonna get real? I just wanna know, is we gonna get real or is we gonna get real? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because some motherfuckers gotta disconnect from this fantasy island we living on, bruh. You know what I'm saying? You think these motherfuckers really give a fuck about you. You know what I'm saying? Because they shake your hand and give you an autograph and all that shit. And shout out to Steph because he actually come to the inner cities with no security, no nothing, and really fuck with the people. Him and Clay. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and Iggy and the rest of the motherfucking Warriors organization. They actually connect with the inner city children. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 the, and the motherfucking, uh, you know what I'm saying? The thug lords and all that shit. The real ones that's out there on the grind every day. Trying to make it happen. So salute to him for that. But other than that bro. When there's some worldwide shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Steph Curry can't become no Kyrie Irving. Or guess what? You wouldn't even have a motherfucking. You wouldn't even have a motherfucking. No action at no motherfucking billion dollar deal. For nothing. You know what I'm saying? You don't have no power. No control. Your talent is just what it is. It's just going to get you to a certain level. You know what I'm saying? For a certain period of time. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? Family still got to live in real life. You know what I'm saying? Family still got to live in real life. Do you think these motherfucking athletes' children goes to motherfucking public school? No, they go to private school. 
to where they're bot living in a bubble, in a box. And that I'm not disrespecting that. You choose what you choose for the betterment of your child for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? But it's different going to public school than a private school. And we already know why. You know what I'm saying? Discipline. Groom you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we want to talk about education this and education that. Yeah, that's just the, the tip of the iceberg. That's just a small portion. Because all it's doing is grooming you and training you to speak a certain way so you can get a certain job. And guess who's going to be your boss? You're not going to be the boss. You're going to have to work your way up. And guess what? For you to even get in that position of power, guess what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to bootleg. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to sell your soul. That's just how the game go. That's what you want to do. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. What are we talking about here? Is we gonna, I just want to know, man. Is we going to keep it real? You know what I'm saying? Is we going to keep it 100? I just want people to keep it 100. That's it. Let's keep it a buck. You know what I'm talking about? It is what it is. I'm in the deep east right now. Look at it. Look. look. We in the deep east. We in the trenches, bro. I work right here in the trenches where niggas out here getting wig splits, hella choppers and shit, flying all over this shit. You know what I'm saying? Look, DMV right here. You know what I'm saying? Planned Parenthood right next to that. You know what I'm saying? Right here. And shout out, you know what I'm saying, to the east. Shout out to the north, to the west. You feel me? Come on, man. So these players, man, they need to start standing on something, bro. You know what I'm saying? They need to start standing on their nuts, bro. Real talk. They need to start standing on their motherfucking nuts. And hopefully we can see that soon rather than later. Because don't I just don't want them to train the younger the youth and the younger generation. Because that's all that's going down right now. We training the youth and the younger generation. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm doing? I'm badging into a gate, bro. I have to badge into a gate, nigga. All this shit is is a bubble, bro. This is a motherfucking gate. We got a badge into this shit. So, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It is what it is, bro. They said he's misunderstood. It's sir, you remember Seth Curry said Kevin Durant is just misunderstood. Because you know why Kevin Durant is more closer to motherfucking Kyrie Irving than he is to a motherfucking LeBron James. He's more closer to a motherfucking Kobe Bryant. And I'm talking about his mindset and his way of thinking about certain things. You know what I'm saying? Kevin Durant really don't want to shut up and dribble. You feel me? But at the end of the day, he just want to play basketball without all the extra shit. But he still want to believe in what he believe in. You know what I'm saying? And we attack him for that shit. You know what I'm saying? We do. I know I have. But I never did attack him for him believing in what he believe in as far as certain shit. It's just how you move in versus what you say. Just be a man of your word. Don't flip flop. That's all I'm saying. So we got to look at these situations, bro, and be like, what, who, how are you going to help the cause and how are you going to hurt the cause, period? <clears throat> what are you going to stand up for? What are you going to represent? You know what I'm saying? We have to ask ourselves that. Those are These are real-life questions, bro. You know what I'm saying? And we need real-life activism. Because the last time I checked, who, who's the, where's the leaders? You know what I'm saying? Who is actually putting yourself out there on the front line where we can say, we're going to follow that brother into the death? You know what I'm saying? The Martin Luther Kings and Malcolm X's. You know what I'm saying? Et cetera, et cetera. And all the other great ones who didn't sacrifice something. You know what I'm saying? Put their life on the line. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what it is, bro. That's exactly what it is. 
know what I'm saying? Pay attention to these motherfuckers. Pay attention to the words that they use, that they say, and then pay attention to the actions that, you know what I'm saying, follow behind that. You know what I'm saying? Don't have tunnel vision, bro. Don't have that motherfucking tunnel vision. You know what I'm saying? So I hope everybody love, lives, life, smile, cry, laugh, bro. Have a productive and a blessed day. You feel me? We gonna get to it. We gonna get back to it. You know what I'm saying? Salute, man, to my people. For real, salute to my people. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all do y'all thing, man. Put one foot in front of the other, no matter the adversity. You know what I'm saying? That's for everybody. You feel me? I love all of y'all, man. So thank you from, my, from the bottom of my heart. You know, I'm going to ride with you. I'm going to support you. You feel me? We're going to keep pushing this motherfucking message. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to keep trying to inspire real change, bro. Period. Point blank. You know what I'm saying? So salute.